Bob Gibson, who set a new National League record for earned run average this year, 1.12. Now five of the first six men he's played. Nine strikeouts for Bob Gibson. That's number 10. The 11th strikeout. That is number 14. Got him! Listen to the crowd! Was his 15th strikeout. Yeah! Once again, a standing ovation. A new World Series record. McCarver, the first one. Now his infielders all over him. A new world's record of 17 strikeouts in one game. Ninth inning, and the fans are on their feet in anticipation. Bob Gibson working on a no-hit, no-run game. Willie Stargell standing between Gibson and the no-hitter. A pitch swing and a miss. He's done it. A no-hit, no-run game. 11 to nothing. One ball, two strikes, a no-hitter. Here's the pitch. Strike three, he got it. The pitch coming, a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that's 3,000 for Bob Gibson. In 1968, Bob Gibson threw 13 shutouts, part of a season that ranks among the greatest any pitcher has ever had. 68 just happens to be the year that everything came together. And, and yeah, I was in a zone. I was probably as strong as I'd ever been in my life, and I knew how to pitch by that time. Gibson excelled in the fall classic. He won seven consecutive World Series games and pitched eight straight complete games. So who would he pick as his all-century starter? <laughs> it would be me. <laughs> I picked myself first.